Hello, welcome to our virtual parent caregiver orientation. In this presentation, we will share information about advisory, accommodations for all, selfies grading policy, unit guides, daily flex time, and C day. Each learner begins their day in advisory. Their advisor serves an important role in helping each learner be supported at school. Each advisor works with learners to build independent learning skills, facilitate community building, and also have regular academic check-ins. This is a schedule for advisory. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, advisories run circles, which help build community. We also set five for five goals each Monday and track our progress throughout the work. Our five for five goals are one thing that we're working on, um, try to achieve for five days. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we will have check and connect time. Learners will be in small groups and they'll be checking in with their teacher and uh, peers on a regular basis around academics and social emotional learning. This is an example of something learners will do during their check and connect time. This helps them develop organization and executive functioning strategies. They will think about their priority list of what they have going on, their plan for flex time, and any grade changes. Also thinking about when and how they will get that to-do list accomplished and any feedback or support they need. When they're doing this check, they will check in with their advisor on a bi-weekly basis. Um, and anytime they're checking in with small groups, they will not be sharing their grades with their peers. They will just be checking in on to-do lists and how their five for five goal is going. We wanna share some additional information on some self-view policies, including our accommodations for all. Our accommodations for all is the all the things that are available to all learners, including strategic seating, extended time for assignments, alternative forms for assessment, extended time on projects and assignments, access to teacher notes, feedback for study guides and assignments, breakdown of large projects, and also an access to a device to write at any time. Once again, these are accommodations that are available to all learners. At Southview, the grading policy is set school-wide for at least 90% of their summative, which is all their tests or projects or things that allow learners to demonstrate their learning, are worth 90% of their grade. In some classes, it is worth 100% of their grade. With summative, learners are always able to reassess or take the test again or go back to their project and make adjustments so that they can show that they have mastered the learning at any point. 10% of that work is formative. Our formative work is the important feedback that learners are getting along the way. So even though it's worth 10% of their grade, learners value this work because they understand it is an opportunity to get feedback on how they should use their flex time or what it is they need to relearn or get extra help on before they take the summative. So it's only worth 10% because we want learners to feel like they can make mistakes on it because through that mistakes gives them clear feedback on what it is they need to fix or relearn before they get to the summative. Unit guides is something we use school-wide to help learners understand how to access information but also develop independent learning skills. This is an example of a unit guide. They will have a general pacing outline of the class. They will have access to their information. So if they are gone for the day or they have to be on an extended leave for any purpose, they would have the unit presentation or any other access to the material and content that teacher is, is using with the class. They also have um, a place to process and reflect and track their learning. So this is the important part about developing independent learners is they have a consistent place to make note of what they're learning, how they're learning, and what feedback they need from teachers, and also what to do with the feedback they are getting from teachers. So this format may vary a little bit from teacher to teacher, but there is enough consistency that learners understand how to use unit guides in the, and then they find them in their Schoology pages, um, use them to understand what it is they're doing in class. We also have daily flex time at Selfview. This is a time that takes place right after advisory on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. They use advisory time to sign up for a flex they need or check to see if a teacher requested to see them. If you are interested in more information about Daily Flex, you can find it on um, the, the link that says 
the picture icon that says daily flex time in the virtual presentation. The big picture again for daily flex, so is the idea that it's an opportunity to personalize for our learners and that they have access to get what they need, whether that's more support, extra instruction or ability to get feedback and ask questions from teachers, an extension of their learning, learning an opportunity to go deeper, to dive into a challenge or an inquiry, um, or, or even an opportunity for teachers to request students to make sure that they get that um, extra support or opportunity to go deeper into their learning in a, in a time that's responsive and timely for our learners. C day is something that is um, new to our, our schedule this year. And C day incorporates all the future ready skills of creativity, critical thinking, collaboration, and communication. So this is a day on Wednesday that is focused for each class to spend time making sure that they are working on critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, and communication. Now we work on all these four these four C's in all of our classes, but this is intentional time on Wednesdays to really make sure that we are um, doing this, developing these skills for all of our learners. These are some examples of ways that we are incorporating the four C's is trying new approaches to solving problems, working together for collaboration, looking at problems in new ways for critical thinking, and being sure we're sharing thoughts, ideas, and questions and solutions that we're working on our communication skills. So you can ask your learner about how they're experiencing C-Day so far. Um, there seems to be a lot of excitement around it in the building. This is the schedule. So on C days, the a learner will either follow their A-Day schedule one day, and then the following C day, they would follow their B day schedule. If there's a four day week, we would just have our A day, B day rotations and no C day of that week. So really learners only follow an A day schedule or B day schedule. And then on that C day, they follow either their A day or B day. So they're really only following two schedules. Thank you for viewing this presentation. If you have any questions, a great place to start is to reach out to your child's advisor, or you can also reach out to any of our other admin team or student services um, teachers as well. Thanks for watching.